One of the fulfillment of a man in life is to have his own house designed to his own taste. Such building in most cases will possibly take into consideration what the owners lack while he was in the rented apartment. In an attempt to satisfy one's desire and sometimes to copy somebody's architectural design elsewhere, one may be tempted to erect a structure that may not be too easy to maintain when the owner gets to old age. A good number of structures are within it by the metropolis. Today, there is supposed landlord merely occupy a single room out of about seven or eight rooms apartments, or practically move to the guest room of a duplex building. This is the private residence of Pa Joseph Oladili. It was constructed about 23 years ago with five bedrooms and three large sitting rooms. It was big enough to accommodate about eight members of the family. But today, Pa Joseph Oladili alone and his wife are occupying the entire structure. The situations are changing these days. If you look at the European architectural something, even if they have a duplex, it, it wouldn't be more than two bedrooms because husband and wife used to share a, a bedroom. So I think that is how it should be. A bedroom should be enough, the one that could be maintained. And when building these days, it is better that the house is small and you have larger space, larger space outside. If you like plant trees, that uh, we yield fruits for you but for big houses uh, they, are, they are useless similarly mrs adekpe jueson and her husband had their eight bedroom apartment 20 years ago but as we speak they hardly occupy two of the rooms where the last sitting room is used only during the annual celebrations and it is not necessarily that she must be a story building okay because when it gets to old age, what really happens, or what usually happens is that people will now build something smaller downstairs, or that their mommy or grandpa and grandma will now come from upstairs and come and stay. At times, some people will even stay in the, the ones they call guest room. The idea of erecting a building structure for one's children is old-fashioned, as none of the children of today will be willing to stay in a house designed over 20 years ago. This reporter, however, noticed that most of such buildings have been converted to either guest houses or private schools, or restructured for rentage while some are under lock and key as the supposed owner have gone to stay with their children overseas, and the building in question cannot be redesigned for other purposes. A structural engineer, Adekam Yadewale, admonished other potential house owners to always look into the future and construct modest buildings that will be easier to manage later in life. You want to design a building, and you want to have a building, shelter, comfortable shelter, that you will be able to maintain at uh, your old age, not a place for rats and rodents and reptiles, because the places and the spaces are not utilized. So that don't be like the Joneses. Build within your capacity, and foresee what your future looks like by the grace of God, and then you have a sustainable uh, future. It is of no use having a building then one will not be able to maintain at old age and will make a landlord to cohabit with rodents and other dangerous reptiles. Abiodun Akinkunle, Bisous News.